give in to your pride. Show me your greatness. Hello and welcome back to another live duel commentary. This time we have Magician Clowns against uh, DDDs. I think it's DDDs. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> first turn going uh, summoning El Shadow Fusion. Uh, construct, sorry. Uh, DDD Construct. Uh, it's nothing like Construct. I, I don't even know what it does. Anyway, uh, Eccentric Archfiend popping the random set of the Wavering Eyes. Yep, this is actually a Pendulum DDD deck. Uh, I, I don't know. Okay, guys, like, don't ask me. Like, how the fuck? Well, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. Okay, like, I don't, I don't fucking know what's going on. Uh, another funny thing is that if you look closely, you can see the Pendulum Hand uh, has a Psy Blocker there. Um, now, if that was me in that position, uh, I'd be looking at my Psy Blocker and thinking, um, yeah, I have no idea what the fuck to call. <laughs> I don't know what this deck does. I think I've commentated on this deck like literally three times and it's been shafted too, so like, I mean, I have nothing to say really. Anyway, Pendulum Call, discarding Luster, uh, getting um, Oaf and um, Pet. Pendulum, uh, three dudes. Uh, that's a lot of guys. So Archfiend pops itself. Uh, so that's a 7 or a 10. Or I'm, I'm not sure why Ghost Ogre is on the field, honestly. Um, he probably wants to make something with it, I guess. I mean, you could make a rank 7, but that, this seems so like, such a waste. I'm sure he called something with Sideblocker as well. I do not have a clue what the hell he called. But yeah. Oh, this is actually really interesting. He calls, um... He get, uh... Bleh. <laughs> he... Right, okay, bas basically, let me, let me sum this up. He's, ma he's just making Meteor Brush Dragon, because, um... I'm pretty sure that DDDs rely on the battle phase in some shape or form. Um, I don't know how, uh, I'm not sure why, but, yeah, um, he overlays into a second absolute dragon, which is, uh, probably not good, as he takes a sip of alcohol there, a full, uh, bottle of pussy juice going down there, um, but that's irrelevant to the duel right now, um, I think he probably should have just left that meteor burst dragon up, because it means that he can't crash and do stuff with DVDs. I, I, I think that's what DVD, D, 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 DVDs, yeah. Oh, wow, that's actually hilarious. Yeah, we'll call them DVDs. Um, so he activates the continuous spell card uh, that um, requires your opponent to pick up and read for 10 minutes. Uh, I don't fucking know what's going on. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. I'm just, yeah, like he's, uh, he's, he's, he's looking up rulings, I think. Is that what he's doing? I think he's on his phone just now, just like Googling, what the fuck does this card do? Or is he trying to ghost over? No, wait, no, he synchroed with that ghost over, obviously. Mm. How should I know what's going on? Oh, yeah, he can fusion and then banish from the graveyard to fuse instead, basically. Um, I actually don't know what DDD Construct does. Um, apparently, you just summon it and pass, so <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, so I think he's just gonna attack and then negate his own attack and then summon out meet your burst dragon again um, I think meet your burst dragon uh, does it stop things like mirror force and juggler uh, I know it stops monster effects and um, I'm not sure about traps to be honest with you uh, and then he fuses for a vortex dragon or some shit and yeah I don't know yeah okay okay that that was that was a great though um, you know when you're at table 500 and like you know, you're at round one of a massive event, you know, and then some of your friends are unlucky enough to lose to, like, fucking, I don't know, some, like, champion player, you know, like, they, they get paired up against, like, fucking Hoban or some shit, or Joshua Schmidt, if you're reading you, like, you know, you get that kind of guy, and then, like, you know, you feel bad for them because they get, you know, smashed, and it's round one of a major tournament, and they have to, like, play, like, probably one of the best players in the room out of, like, 1,500 entrants, and then you have duels like this. Which is like, you know, you, you, you're you upset that you have to deal with like shitty weird road decks, but then you come up against, that you hear about your friend coming up against this deck and it's like, oh man, I just won my round one match against DDDs. It's like, oh, okay, cool, well done. Um, 2 -oh, yeah, 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 I 2 would this DDD player. All right, awesome. I don't, I don't know, do, did you know what they do? I don't know what DDDs do. Oh, uh, neither do I, man, neither do I. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Yeah, so, um, uh, 
pretty weird hand using Wisdom Eye and Eccentric as a skill here. Uh, just so he can summon out Unicorn, so he can Pendulum summon. Not Pendulum summon, what am I saying? So he can uh, bounce and do stuff. And then I think the DVD player just passes because he realizes that his hand is full of cards that are uh, knockoff DVD and they're shite and, and terrible. So he just passes. Um, I think he's reading Archery and Eccentric to see if he can pop it itself. Um, but I don't know if like that's what he's going for. Yeah, he pops he eccentric archfiend pops his own wisdom eye to see if that's possible. Which he does. And then it lets him add another eccentric. Well it doesn't add, but like he uses another eccentric and off dragon on the scale. And we see we have a lot of monsters on the field. So putting that shit all together, um I think he's gonna overlay, is he gonna overlay, is he gonna overlay? Um I don't know what he's gonna overlay for. What would you even overlay for? Uh, probably trapeze for going for game, but I think he's worried about juggler or some crap like that. Yeah, so he takes a bunch of damage and then he's gonna get jugglered, I think. Can't see any other reason why this would take so long. Okay, apparently not. Um, yeah, Danny has a habit of like taking thirty minutes to do like the the simplest plays, and then he makes dweller. Dweller works, I guess. Oh Jesus! <laughs> so he dark holes. Um. Uh, DVD player confused as to why the the Mad Specter cards are still on the field, and it happens to be because Mad Specters cannot be destroyed or targeted, which is uh, pretty awesome. And if he tries to crash here with anything, he can just bounce with Unicorn. That Unicorn card is so good, I swear to God. Like you can just play ma magicians and like you don't need like Unicorn. Uh, sorry, you don't need Raccoon. Like you could just straight up put three Raccoon uh, Unicorns into your deck, because like. At worst case scenario, it's a two scale, and like two's like that's fine for like magicians. I mean, I'm probably gonna make a budget version uh, of this deck, and I might do a deck profile later. Sorry, I know I'm just rambling right now. I'm just so fucking bored. <laughs> I'm looking at this this like field, and I'm like, uh, what is going on? Okay, so he's fused again, uh, and then that's just gonna get bounced. Like, great fucking deck, great fucking deck. <laughs> you know, um, but. Maybe this week, our dear Farman will show us a beautiful, different variant of DVDs. He might show us uh, DVD Magicians or something like that. Combine it with something a little bit better than this, um, for lack of a better word. Garbage. Total and utter dog shit. But anyway. Uh, yeah. Just thinking of the plays. Taking another swashy or bucky. I don't think that's Bucky, lads. Don't 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 get don't worry. That's no Bucky. He's drinking. That's probably some form of uh, poof juice, because Danny's a big poof. Uh, Danny, if you're watching, please don't report me for uh, abuse or anything. That would uh, that would suck, man. But yeah, uh, so we we see we see some progress. There's there's definitely some progress going down here, um, and there's two fusions on the field, <laughs> so. Now we have two Shadal Constructs, uh, sorry, DVD Constructs, uh, and I, I guess he's he's going to pass, or, oh, okay, no, he he attacked over the Raccoon and then, like, passed, and that was it. So, now we Pendulum Summon out uh, the entire fucking field of Narnia, and then he just, like, pops one, bounces one, and then, like, Tribute Summons a Unicorn, and uh, that's more than game, so. Thanks for watching, boys, and I'll see you next time. Give in to your pride.